Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my pantry organization video because it is definitely time. I'm so tired of seeing my pantry so dirty and so unorganized and I felt like it would be the perfect opportunity to get it under control and show you how I do that. So I want to show you what I've got set out and ready to use. First I have a bucket of water I did warm water and I have a little bit of essential oil. I like to use a peppermint oil with my water. It makes it smell nice and clean and it just helps it um, stay clean. <laughs> That's it. And then also I have what I'm going to be needing probably more than one of, but a trash bag because I do not like cardboard. I don't like things in that. I like to put my food in containers, so I plan on getting rid of a lot of cardboard and a lot of trash in the pantry, so I have that. And then, of course, I have my um, vacuum cleaner that I'm going to vacuum out the shelves and any crumbs that are in the pantry as well. Um, and then I have a broom in there that I'll probably sweep with after, but I'm not 100% sure yet. So, let's get started. Um, first, I wanted to show you my pantry. We custom built our house, and one thing that I love the most about it was the pantry. It is so cool. So let me give you a little look at what it looks like. So when you're in my kitchen and you're just looking, you think that these little doors right here are just regular kitchen cabinet doors, but it's actually a hidden pantry. And now you get to see how bad my pantry is. This is why I'm having to take over today and completely organize it. It's terrible. Everybody has came in here and just thrown anything and everything wherever they see a spot. And my anxiety cannot take it anymore. So today I'm going to pull it all out. I'm going to organize it and I'm going to take y'all along with me. The first thing you want to do is pull all your food out and organize it into groups. This will make it so much easier when you get ready to put things back away and it will also help you determine the right size containers that you need for each section. After I've pulled out all the food, I like to use my vacuum cleaner to vacuum each shelf. After I vacuum the shelves, I also vacuum the containers. And then I use my water to wipe down the shelves and then wipe dry before returning all the food. By cleaning with peppermint oil, this made my pantry smell so much better as well. I like to store small kitchen appliances like my KitchenAid and Crock-Pot at the bottom of my pantry shelves. This makes it easier to get to and they're not so hard to lift overhead to get them down when I'm ready to use them. Because I already have so many containers, I spent a lot of time emptying those and making sure the food that was in it wasn't old and didn't need to be thrown away. Also, if it was old, I tossed it and cleaned out the container, washed it as needed, and then replaced with fresh food. This is a good reason why you want to make sure that you don't buy containers before you know what you're going to need. When I first started buying containers, I ended up buying things I didn't use, which is why I have a shelf in my kitchen full of containers that never have been opened. Save money and pull everything out first. I promise you will not regret it.
That spaghetti I just put away is our family's favorite. The brand is Barilla and it's a veggie spaghetti, so it has servings of zucchini and spinach in it. The taste is amazing and my kids love it. If you have troubles getting your kids to eat vegetables, I highly recommend buying that because you can easily get in an extra serving without them knowing. So one thing that I didn't show y'all earlier in my pantry was that we actually had them build a little inset for my microwave um, and an outlet inside that as well as so that I could put any small kitchen appliances in there. I really don't like having them on the countertops in the kitchen because I just feel like it utilizes more space and I want to have as much space as I can to lay out when I'm cooking or doing anything like that. We're not really that big on cereal, but it seems like we go in phases of eating it. In particular for this phase, we have like three or four different boxes of random flavors. But lucky for me, like I said, I have tons of empty containers to use. And this is the point where I started getting hungry, so I decided to sneak a little bite of the cereal when the kids weren't looking. For me, I always have a hard time trying to decide which shelf to put the food back on. I usually move it around several times until I find exactly how I like it. And even then, when I come back the next time and clean my pantry, I usually move it again. I wish y'all could see how many cardboard boxes I have broken down at this point. My garbage man is seriously going to love me. Okay, so my pantry is almost done and I'm about to actually clean out my microwave. I haven't done it in a long time. It's one of those things where, I, like I said, I'm glad that it's in the pantry, but out of sight, out of mind. So it doesn't get cleaned as much as it should. Not like I used to when it used to be in our old house and it was on the counter and I would clean it every time I clean the kitchen. So um, according to Alexa, she says that you can fill up about a half a bowl of water and then put in some vinegar and put it in the microwave for about five minutes and let the steam kind of break up any 
um, dirt, grime, or whatever in the microwave, and then you can wipe it clean. So I'm gonna try it. I've never tried it, but we're gonna see if it works. And I'm actually using the same bowl that I had my water and peppermint oil in, so it's probably gonna smell like vinegar and peppermint oil, so we'll just see if that works. Okay, so I've put the bowl of water in there with the vinegar, and I'm gonna put a timer on it for five minutes. And I will report back and let you know how it works. Okay, so while the microwave is working with the water and we're gonna see if that works, I'm gonna go ahead and do the command hook and hang my broom on the wall. Um, and I'll show you how to do that. So if you've never done a command hook before, they are super easy. There's two sides. It'll tell you which side of the sticky goes on the wall and which side actually goes on the command hook piece. So you'll see the black uh, side says wall. The red one is gonna go on the actual command hook. And then on, I don't know if I can get it to focus, but anyways, on this, you'll be able to tell where to put these because it's kind of like got the dotted line for you to see. And I'm putting both of them on here. I usually kind of hold it and press count to 10 just to make sure that it gets on there really good and it holds. I think on the actual instructions, you're supposed to like let it stay on the wall before you actually hang your item. Let's see. Yes, you're supposed to wait one hour before you actually hang your item. Am I going to do that? No, probably not. <laughs> but sometimes I do. I actually um, hung a like garland around my front door because I have brick and I didn't want to drill into it. Um, things like around Halloween, I did that. And I used command hooks, and I will say that that garland was heavy, and it actually really did work. Um, but I followed the rules then, so I'll report back and tell y'all if my room's back on the floor tonight. Now, I could get really technical about where I placed this and make sure it was level and all that, but this is my pantry, and as long as it's getting my brooms off the floor, then I'm fine. <laughs> but I do tend to like kind of push down and hold for 10 seconds just to make sure that the sticky really does grab to the wall. and it works. Um, the microwave is done, so I'm gonna see if that actually worked too. I don't know. There's a little steam, but we'll see if it wipes away like she said. Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all. That actually really worked on the microwave. Like, yeah, I didn't have to scrub hard at all. So that's a neat trick. Again, she said you fill the bowl half up with water and then some vinegar, put it in for about five minutes and let the steam work and then you just wipe it out. But it came pretty clean and I, like I said, I didn't have to scrub and honestly, I hate to say I hadn't cleaned this thing in a couple months. So I'm thoroughly impressed with that hack. Y'all need to try that one out and let me know if it works for you too. This is another little kind of hack I did. I need to add more to it, but I bought these little trays from Walmart and I think they were like 97 cents or something. They might have even came in a set of four or so. I can't remember. But basically what I did was I hung them on the wall. Let me see if I can move some stuff so you can see it. But I just hung them right there with screws and 
their level and that way I can put my spices and stuff in it. And it doesn't take up space in my pantry either. So that's another little hack for your pantry. Okay, we are finally in the home stretch. Once I get over to this side of my pantry, I know I'm almost there and almost done. I actually really despise doing the canned goods just because they're so heavy and hard to organize. But again, once I knew I was here, I knew that I was so close to being finished and I was determined to get it done. At this point in the game, my neck and back were hurting pretty bad, hence the neck rolls and back bends that you continually see. I decided to move all my canned goods up one shelf. This made it a lot easier for me to be able to see what I had so that I could find the best thing I was looking for when I was cooking. And also it made them easier to keep clean and in order. literally probably 98 percent done with my pantry minus the floors but i am so excited it looks so much better i've got it all organized now how long it'll actually stay this way is the real question we will see <laughs> my husband already came in here earlier and was getting some chips and i was like no 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 you gotta put that back where it goes but again like as far as where i put items i really just mix it up because I try to stick it in places that make sense for when I'm cooking and going and grabbing things. But again, like different seasons of life, I just kind of mix it up. And I always keep snacks for the kids down low so they can get those and take them to school. And then up high, I put extra things like extra party supplies and plates and forks and stuff like that that we don't use all the time, but we will need. And then of course, I have our medicines and vitamins and things like that. but. That's about it. Let's see if I can back up and get the full picture. It's hard because the doors don't really open all the way because they're not doors, they're cabinet doors. I wanted just to walk through my pantry and kind of talk a little bit about containers and things that I use. I kind of have a mixture of different ones. Um, some of these, like right here, these skinny ones actually came from Ikea. They're a really good price. If you're looking for a good budget-friendly option, that's a really good one. And then these others over here I found at Marshall's. And some of them I got from TJ Maxx. You can even get ones at Walmart in a set. I think it's the Better Home and Gardens brand that has some sets together that are cute. And then, of course, you can do the more expensive ones of the OXO brand. I like those as well. I did get a set of that, but I only did one because it can be expensive. Also, I did just some clear containers like these right here. You can get those from Walmart or the Dollar Tree or anything like that also. And then, of course, baskets. I believe you can never, ever, ever have too many baskets. We have baskets all over my house for toys and blankets and all kinds of things. So they work great even in the pantry too. I'm gonna back up so you can kind of see how I mix it up and incorporate the baskets and containers. But that's about it. Even these little tray baskets. I think I got those from Walmart, I believe. 
Oh, and this right here, this is awesome. So this is a Lazy Susan, and it's really good for your canned goods. So you don't have to constantly reach in the back and try to look for those. You can just spin that around. So that's neat too. And then this, we got this a long time ago, but this is for our K-Cups for the coffee for the Keurig. But again, that's just kind of how I did my pantry. And I just wanted to show you how, like some containers and things like that and kind of how I group my stuff together. Okay guys, so my pantry is finally done. It's actually taken me all day long. I didn't think it would take all day, but then again, it was pretty bad. Um, but it's done, so I can enjoy it now. Um, everybody's pantry is different, so what might work for one, maybe not another. These are just some tips and tricks that I like to do. The microwave trick was pretty cool. It actually really worked, so if y'all try it, let me know and leave that in the comments. Again, me creating these videos is all new to me, but if you're enjoying watching, I would love it if you would subscribe and hit like. And if you have any other video requests, please let me know in the comments. Until next time, thanks guys. Bye.